Hey YouTube, this is Deadly Laugh coming at you with another episode of The Ultimate Guide to City Skylines. Now, this is taken from my stream, so there'll be some interactions. You'll hear stuff in the background. Usually my kids are lullaby since it's the only time I have to stream that night when they're going to bed. So just, uh, you know, disregard that and just enjoy the gameplay. Hope you learned something. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on. If you want to, drop down in the comments and uh, let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, and also, link in the description for my Twitch channel. I will see you guys in the rest of the video. Have a good one. I have a three lane highway here. And so, let me just draw a couple things real quick. So this is pretty much the same. This for uh, any road, really, uh, especially highways. So if you notice this one-lane road that comes off right here, down here, <clears throat> the main highway has a right turn only. So if a if a vehicle needs to get off right here, they're gonna you know get in the right lane somewhere back here to go ahead and turn off. Uh, what's also f interesting is if you have if you have several, uh, just just pretend these are one ways real quick. If you have several one ways, a and they're too too close together, a, a truck that may need the second one, it won't get over until it's past this first exit. So it'll be in the middle lane until right here. As you can see, this is not a whole lot of space to actually get over and do anything. Whoops, mouse getting a little crazy. You know, and even this space may not be enough depending on where this this path leads for people to get over and get off. Uh, so definitely try and space out your connections. What I honestly like to do, uh, especially when I expand out to the main uh, regional connections that the game starts you with, is I'll come in here. This isn't going to look neat or anything. But I'll come in here and I'll make these long, like access road type of things. So that anybody that's trying to get in anything I have over here that's connected uh, off to the side. If you're trying to get over here, like you have, you get off and you have plenty of time to get off. So you're not backing up this main road. If this is the start of your city right here, I would highly encourage you to do the same thing if possible. Uh, in, in the beginning, you don't really need to, but um, after you hit... Um, what is it? Uh, let me look it up. 440, I think, is a little hamlet. Yeah. So if you hit 440, you get taxes and loans available. So you can, uh, you can start making more money and take out that loan. <clears throat> um, as you're continuing to grow, I would I would say after that first intersection, um, definitely, um, definitely look at... Go ahead and take out... To run this because I took out those loans, so it gave me the money. Um, <clears throat> I would definitely look at using that. Um, so now I'll go back into the city. So now, if, if you're exiting on a two lane road, look at here right lane is dedicated, you have to go right. The middle lane can go straight or go right. Lane three is right in the middle, the left can keep going straight. Uh, so what typically is good is if you if you need to have two lanes, like for whatever reason you need to have two lanes over there, you know, or even say this is this is a four lane road, right? And you have two lanes going off. Well, instead of this staying four lanes or three lanes, make it two lanes because now look what happened. It forced these right two lanes to turn right. You know, so if I if I turned this one into a two lane from a three lane, it forced that right lane to turn onto this one lane street. And same thing when it comes in, like if this was reverse direction, two lane coming in and then this comes here, this entrance is going to stay right here, closest here. So you don't, if you use your roads correctly, you won't even need to use traffic manager a whole lot. Here's another thing people don't realize. So... Oh, yeah, so well, I'm, since I'm doing this, so if you notice these large lines are 10 units and they pop up once you get to a five unit spacing. That's 10 units and each of these squares, each unit is eight meters. So 10 units is um, 
80 meters. <clears throat> so something they've added in um, recently is this junction control. So I'm going to show you something interesting. It's going to look horrible. So let's look at these junctions. So anytime you have a four lane road, it's going to automatically, an intersection is automatically going to turn on, whoops, it's going to turn on traffic lights. So you can turn those off. If you notice the two lane roads, when they intersect, nothing's on. It's just all yields. Uh, if you want more control, you know, use traffic manager. But since they have added these, this junction tab into the info bar, it makes it pretty easy to control everything you need. Um, and so that's it for, for me explaining some of the basics. Mm -hmm.